Hi everyone, so in this video I'll be showing you how you can transform yourself into a comic book character. It is quite straightforward, all you need is like the right makeup and the right paints. So starting off, I'm using my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW30 and I'm applying this under my eyes and also on my eyelids to make it look very flawless and to get rid of any darkness that I've got. And then next I'm just going in with my foundation and I'm building up the layers because usually with comic book characters they have completely flawless skin and, and that is something that I need to create for this look. So I'm literally putting on a few layers of foundation and really blending it out so it looks quite smooth but also really flawless. And then to set all my foundation and concealer in place, I'm using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. So the most important thing for this comic book look is to create the shadows because this will give a really comic book feel. And for this I'm using my Contour Cosmetics Contour Palette and I'm just using the two deeper shades and I'm mixing them together to create the shadows on my face. So it's completely up to you where you want to apply the shadows because I was looking at a few reference photos and I decided to kind of go from there. I'm basically applying the contour shade on the sides of my face. And on one side I'm applying it a lot more and like more towards my eye area too. And I'm using this flat brush too because it was just really easy to paint on my face and just apply the contour colour. And for the contour colour don't worry about blending it out because the main objective for the contour is to make you look like you have like some really visible shadows on your face. And not blending it out will create more of a comic book look. So to set the contour look, I'm using some dark brown shadows from a Morphe palette, but you can use whichever dark brown shadows that you want, and this will add more depth to the shadows. So I'm applying a few eyeshadows to my eyes, although this is optional if you don't want to. And then I'm using my liquid liner and I'm just drawing like a nice winged liner, how I normally do it. So the next step is outlining and for this I'm using a black water based paint and I'm outlining my features and also the shadows on my face and this will help to make me look more like a comic book character. If you guys don't have black paint you can always use say like maybe eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, whichever one that you have access to and you feel comfortable with. So I'm drawing some thick and thin lines around my face, around the shadows, along the nose. I'm also taking some dark brown and black eyeshadow and I'm just using this under my brows and in the inner corner of my eye to create a bit more depth. So I'm just finishing off the eyes and I'm trying to create more of like an outline on the eyes to make it look like it's actually been drawn.
And then from the same contour palette, I'm using the lightest shade and I'm just using that as a highlight. And then I'm just blending this out using a Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. And you will see how much this actually transforms the entire look. And then I'm just applying some mascara. So for the lips I use a lip liner and then I use a matte lip gloss and then I'm basically doing the same thing, I'm drawing some lines outside my lips to make them look like they've been drawn. And then I'm just adding a few more details around my face. Also on the lips I use a bit of white paint on my top lip just to make it look as if it's got a bit of a cartoony sort of feel to it. And then using some dark brown paint I'm just drawing on like around my hairline just to make it look like I've got a solid hairline. But this is completely optional in case you guys don't want to do that. So I'm taking this down onto my neck as well to complete the look. There isn't a specific way to do this, I was just using a few different reference photos, just a few squiggles with the brush here and there and I guess it just kind of came together. And that is a completed look. I hope you guys liked this tutorial and if you do, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this. I'll be making loads of creative and artsy videos so I hope you guys like it. Thank you for watching and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye! Bye.